Hi, this is Jonathan Marks, and I'm here with Dr. Jeffrey Newcorn, MD. He's the director of the Division of ADHD and Learning Disorders at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. Dr. Newcorn is the program chair of the 2017 annual meeting of APSARD, the American Professional Society of ADHD and Related Disorders. That's happening this coming January 13th to 15th at the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, D.C. The title of the meeting is From Science to Clinical Practice, ADHD Across the Lifespan. Dr. Newcorn, can you give us an overview of what will be presented at the meeting? First of all, thanks very much, Jonathan. We have an outstanding meeting lined up that we think will be of great interest to a range of professionals, including those with a scientific academic bent and those who are clinicians who treat patients with ADHD across the lifespan. We have sessions that will address ADHD as it presents in children beginning in preschool years all the way through adulthood. We have a session specifically devoted to ADHD in preschool children. We have a session on ADHD in college students. We have a session on ADHD in females and special issues that are seen in females with ADHD across the lifespan. Mm -hmm. We have sessions on neurobiology and genetics of ADHD on new methods of evaluating people with ADHD. And last year's meeting was, I think, the biggest meeting APSART has ever had. Is that true? That is correct. It was a huge success. We're very pleased at the turnout and the level of interest in this meeting. One of the great things about this meeting is that it's developed a, an international following, and we have recruited leading speakers from various other continents who are very active and very prominent in the ADHD field. And we also have had an increase in members and attendees from other countries across the world. We're very excited about that. It's really growing. And what, one of the other things that I think is kind of a new aspect of ADHD research and possibly clinical practice is ADHD in older adults. Can you say a little bit about that? I think the point worth mentioning is that ADHD is seen across the lifespan. One of the, one of the really interesting things that has been very uh, topical in this last year is about whether ADHD always has its onset in childhood or whether it sometimes has its onset later in life. And we will have a session, actually, that addresses this very timely point. So thank you very much for being with us, Dr. Newcorn. Dr. Newcorn is, again, the program chair for the 2017 annual meeting of APSART, which is this coming January 13th to 15th at the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, D.C. It was a record-setting meeting last year, and we fully expect that will happen again in 2017. See you there. Thanks, Dr. Newcorn. Thank you.